In this repair video, we're going to be working on an MSI 1080 video card, graphics card, and we already disassembled the board. This card was mailed over for no post, no display. It was taken out a build. That's what the customer wrote. So without wasting any time, let's take a look at the board and see if we can figure out why this board is not powering on or posting. Based on visual inspection with my naked eye, I'm not able to see any burn marks or anything obvious and no signs of prior repair attempt, which is good. Let's start by measuring our 12 volts line and we're going to measure using the two curls that we see down here. We have a power plug that goes here and we have a power plug that goes here, 12 volts, 12 volts. So we want to make sure that those two are good. And then we're going to measure our 5 volts, 1.8 volts, our memory voltage, so on and so forth. So meter in continuity mode. And we can measure the top connector here by measuring the coil. Let's put the meter in ohms mode and measure here. And I'm reading 467 ohms, which is good. And let's read the one next to it, which is also a 12 volt. Oh, wow, I'm reading 0 0.6 ohms. We have a short here. Meter in continuity mode. We have a short here. And if we measure here, we do not have a short. We have 468 ohms. We have a short on this connector. I mean, half the job is already done. We figured out that we have a short on our 12 volt line. Right now we have a short on this coil on our 12 volt line, which is this connector here. And this one is good. We did not read a short on this coil. Now, problem could be one of the two. It could be a damaged, a faulty MOSFET, or it could be a GPU issue. If 12 volts was able to make its way through to the GPU, then it's game over. Otherwise, we want to see if we have a faulty MOSFET right on the side of the board. So without wasting any time, let's measure those MOSFETs. And I'm going to start by measuring pin number one of each MOSFET. Usually, they should read the same. We can tell if we have a problem if one of the MOSFETs is not reading the same or if we are reading a short on any one of the MOSFETs, and I'm talking about pin number one. Usually on video cards, we read about 10K or 8K or 5K. So let's start by measuring this one here. And we need to be in ohms mode, and maybe we can do this. What do we read if we measure this MOSFET here? We are getting 4.6K, 4.6 kilo ohms, which is good. I'm going to assume this MOSFET is good because it's not reading a short or a very low value. If we measure this one here, 4.6K, so you see they are measuring the same, 4.6K. I'm measuring 4.7K, that's okay. And what about this one here, 4.72K. And what about this one here? We are measuring 4.7K. And what about this one here? And I'm measuring, look at that, 3.5 ohms. Not 5K, not 4K, nothing in the case. It's measuring 3.4 ohms. And if you noticed, the MOSFET that measured 3.4 ohms has this burnt flux under it. It has this burn mark right here. So that's also an indication that this MOSFET is not good. And if we keep on measuring 4.6K, and this one is going to read different, 380K, which is okay. And this one is reading one 
149 ohms, which for now is okay. So our problem is this MOSFET right here. We're going to desolder the MOSFET and we'll take it from there. We'll measure for a short after we desolder the MOSFET and see if we still have a short. This MOSFET reads M3816N. I do not have exactly the same one, but I have something comparable. The MOSFET is out. Before we prep the board, let's measure and see if we still have a short on our 12 volt line. Meter in continuity mode. And do we still have a short? One probe on ground and one probe on this coil here where we measure for a short. And look at that. We no longer have a short. The meter is reading 333 ohms. So that MOSFET is what was causing a short on our 12 volt line. Amazing. Let's prep the pads for this MOSFET. And we will solder a new MOSFET in place. Okay, and we have the conical fine tip. That's very good. Now all we have to do is grab a chip that's comparable to the one that we just removed. And I have tons of graphic card chips that we ordered from China. And I'm going to be posting those on our e-commerce site for those of you who may need them because it's a hassle to order those chips from China every time you need one. Those chips are not available in the USA. I ordered a large batch of a lot of chips that we constantly use for graphics cards. Like we have a roll of 500 MOSFETs here and I think this is the one that we need. That's a brand new chip. And like I said, this chip is not gonna read the same. It's not gonna read M3816N, but it's a comparable IC. And all I have to do is press down on the MOSFET. And that's it, job's done. Better than factory. Just a tiny bit of flux so we can get rid of that blob here. That's it. Job is done. Assuming everything else is good, the card should work. Let's plug the card in. We're gonna plug our eight pin connector here and our six pin connector on the line that was short into ground, just like that. And because I'm very optimistic, plug the HDMI cable and let's see.
and anytime I'm working with video cards I like to put my goggles on just in case let's power it on the board is on and we do not want to hear six beeps what we do not want to hear is six beeps and right now oh right there right there it's working right here The card is working. Some of you ask if I benchmark the cards. I do, but I do not do it in the video. I do it later on. But for now, the card is working and we do have an output and the job is done. We're going to disconnect and give this to Big Buzz to reassemble and test. That's it. Let me know what you think. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.